Hola, feliz viernes. Hoy es viernes. Yo soy Rory y estoy contento de estar aquí con ustedes. I was uh, reviewing my uh, medical Spanish immersion workbook today because I was just finished up our uh, a program in Costa Rica and I'm starting to look forward now to our summer program in both Ecuador and Costa Rica. And I was going through it because I make notes and, and I came across a page from one morning we were together and I was asking folks, you know, about some new words they're learning or, or things that they needed to, uh, you know, make sense of. And this list here, I was looking at this list and I thought, you know what, holy cow, like 90% of these are transition words. And so I thought, well, I'm going to sort through some transition words and, and help you uh, narrow down, because there are literally hundreds, right, of transition words in, in any given language. And, but they're important. You don't have to know them all, but a handful of important ones would really help you move from feeling like you get stuck at important places in sentences and really being able to tie things together the way you would in English. And so I put together our lesson today, 36 palabras de transición para usar en la clínica. Of course, this is not an exhaustive list. There are more transition words in Spanish, but these are some that I think you'll find helpful. And 36 is a very manageable number. You can nail these within the course of a week and start implementing them in your speech. So before we get too far down the road, KS, una palabra de transición. You like Rory, you quit this grammar nerd speak. Uh, well, it, you know what a transition word is as soon as you see some of these examples. However, but, therefore, regardless, nevertheless, as soon as. So these are common words that uh, you uh, can easily gain in Spanish to tie sentences together, tie thoughts and ideas together, and follow your patients as they're speaking to you. So let's get started right away with uh, these 36 palabras de transición. Okay. Además, moreover or additionally, al contrario, on the contrary, algunas veces, sometimes, al mismo tiempo, at the same time, alrededor de, around or about, antes de, before, antes de que, uh, also meaning before. Okay, let's look at an example. Las verduras son nutritivas. Además, son económicas. ¿sí? So, moreover, or additionally, they're economical. Algunas veces podemos controlar la presión completamente con cambios al estilo de vida. So, sometimes we can control la presión, blood pressure, completely con cambios al estilo de vida, with lifestyle changes. Hay alrededor de cuatro tipos de bacteria streptococo. So there's around four types of streptococcus or strep bacteria. Okay, continuamos. A pesar de, in spite of. Aun así, even so. Aunque, although. De igual manera, similarly. De hecho, or en realidad, in fact. De repente, suddenly, después de, after, todas, de todas formas, in any case. Okay, let's look at an example. Aunque el tumor es benigno, aún así queremos quitárselo. So, even though the tumor is benign, even so, or so, although the tumor is benign, even so, queremos quitárselo. We want to take it out. Okay? Después de unas semanas, va a sentirse mejor. So after a few weeks, you'll feel better. En cuanto a, in terms of, or regarding, en lugar de, o en vez de, instead of, en otras palabras, in other words, en resumen, in summary, específicamente, specifically, mientras tanto, meanwhile, no obstante, or sin embargo, nevertheless, or however, okay, let's look at an, un ejemplo aquí. En lugar de gaseosas, or refrescos, so in, instead of or in place of sodas, es mejor tomar agua. It's better to drink agua, water. ¿Sí? En otras palabras, in other words, es importante reducir la cantidad de azúcar que consume. So in other words, it's important to reduce the amount of sugar that you consume. 
Otra vez, again. Pero, but, por ejemplo, for example, por eso, therefore, por lo general, in general, por supuesto, of course. Por un lado, por otro lado. So on the one hand, on the other hand. And uh, that comma there would normally be separated by a phrase, yeah? All right. Sí, por supuesto, las ITS son muy comunes. So yes, of course, las ITS, what are ITS? Infecciones de transmisión sexual, so uh, STIs, son muy comunes. Por eso es importante protegerse. That's why it's important to protect yourself, or how you might say in English, use protection. Por ejemplo, for example, usar condones es buena manera para evitar embarazos. For example, using condoms is a great way to avoid pregnancies y prevenir la transmisión de infecciones and prevent the transmission of infections. Por un lado, por otro lado. On one hand, oh, it looks like we've repeated this one. Maybe there's treinta y cinco. I should recount. <laughs> Sin duda, without a doubt. Sobre todo, above all. También, also, or too. And tan pronto como, as soon as. Ya, already. And ya que, since, or because of. So, ya tenemos los resultados de las pruebas. We already have the results of the tests. Vamos a tomar una decisión tan pronto como, we're going to make a decision tan pronto como el radiólogo lea la radiografía. So we're going to make a decision as soon as the radiologist reads the um, radio, radiografía, so the x-ray. Notice we don't say hacer una decisión aquí, es tomar una decisión. So in Spanish we take decisions, we don't make decisions, okay? Ya que no tiene historia de cáncer de mama, so ya que, given that, or since, because of, no tiene historia de cáncer de mama, so because you don't have a history of breast cancer, su seguro no cubre la mammografía antes de los 40 años de edad. Your insurance won't cover your mammogram under 40 years old. Okay, bien. Let's do a little practica, see how you do. Feel free to pause me so you can have time to think through, um, think through these, okay? Probablemente no es el coronavirus. Probably it's not coronavirus. However, hay una posibilidad y there's a possibility and that's why necesitamos hacer unas pruebas adicionales. And that's why we need to do some additional tests. So, how are you going to say however? I chose sin embargo. If you look at the notes for the lesson, you'll see that no obstante is another option for however, but sin embargo is the one that I tend to use. And that's that's kind of what you should do. You should if there are synonyms for things, just choose the one you like. I mean, be able to recognize the other because other people might say it and you'll want to be able to follow. But you don't need to feel like you have to have five ways to say something. Stick with one, particularly as you're starting out. Okay, how are we going to say that's why then? Por eso, that's why, por eso, uh, necesitamos hacer unas pruebas adicionales. All right, our next example. A ver si le entendí. Let's see if I understood. ¿Podría repetir lo que pasó again? Uh, let's see if I understood. Could you repeat what happened again? And for again, how are we going to do that? Otra vez, otra vez. All right. Un resultado negativo no es mala noticia. So, a negative result isn't bad news. On the contrary, es buena noticia. Es buena noticia. How are we going to say on the contrary? Al contrario, al contrario. You know, something just came to me about otra vez. Um, otra vez stands on its own as um, another time, please, or once again, otra vez. Oftentimes, um, you want to give a literal translation to your Spanish or your English when you say one more time, and you want to say una otra vez. But you never would say una otra vez. You just simply say otra vez, okay? Um, I've heard that a lot in, in classes and things, and so I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, our last example here. 
Me alegro que los tés y las infusiones le ayuden a sentirse mejor. I'm glad that the teas and infusions help you feel better. And when we say infusiones here, we're talking about other herbs and things that have been infused in water. That's, we're not necessarily talking about uh, the infusion of some kind of medication, right? Uh, tés y, en, y las infusiones le ayudan a sentirse mejor. Pero, in any case, quiero que tome este medicamento también. I want you to take this medication also. In any case, de todas formas, um, in, de todas formas, I want you to take the other, this medication también. Okay, well, as I mentioned, esta lección se inspiró por inmersión. En inmersión. Uh, buscas inspiración para tu español? If you're looking for some inspiration for your Spanish, I would love to share an immersion program with you. Uh, these are programs that I lead personally and uh, spend time with you abroad, helping you 24-7 really move your Spanish forward. All right, por el momento, gracias por aprender español conmigo, and juntos realmente mejoramos comunidades. Para más español, head over to the website commongroundinternational.com. Hasta luego!